Hey guys, what's up? I'm Ella and welcome to my channel where I make tech related videos. And today I am going to talk about my 16 inch MacBook Pro that I purchased six months ago. Okay, so about six months ago, I was looking to get a new computer and of course I wanted one that could last me for a while. So after looking at many, many options, I finally decided to get the 16 inch MacBook Pro and I genuinely enjoyed this MacBook a lot for a while. I thought it was very well suited for me. It was able to handle all the tasks that I wanted it to handle very well. So I thought that I would keep this laptop for the next like four to five years. Well, um, that is probably not happening because recently I've actually started to regret this purchase. And in this video, I will tell you guys why. Okay, so let me just preface this video by saying there is nothing majorly wrong with this laptop at all. Like there really is no single deal breaker with this laptop. But the one big reason reason for why I regret buying this MacBook is that I now think that my workflow can be better handled by a combination of a PC and a small light laptop instead of one big powerful laptop like what I have right now. So for the majority of the six months that I've owned my MacBook Pro, I truly really enjoyed it. But recently I started to think that this very powerful but very expensive $3,000 laptop is not nearly as powerful as I would like it to be and it's also not as portable as I would like it to be. I mean this thing weighs 4.3 pounds and is 16 inches. So instead of dropping $3,000 on this one big laptop, I think I could have spent this $3,000 much better by building myself a custom PC and getting myself a small light laptop. So let's just say I spend roughly $1,000 on a small laptop. Well, the newly released M1 MacBook Airs cost roughly $1,000 and it is an absolutely fantastic laptop. Its performance is really quite insane. So with $1,000, I can definitely get myself a small and light laptop that still has great performance. Okay, and then let's say I spend like $1,500 building a custom PC for myself. After doing some research into PC parts, I am confident that a PC that costs roughly $1,500 to build will definitely be much more powerful than my current 16 inch MacBook Pro. By the way, in case you're curious, these are the current specs of my 16 inch MacBook Pro. So in total, a roughly $1,000 small laptop plus a roughly $1,500 PC and then plus some miscellaneous things for the PC like a keyboard, mouse, and monitor. All of this will roughly cost $3,000, which is the same price as a 16 inch MacBook Pro that I currently have. However, with this dual setup of a PC and a small laptop, I get more absolute performance from the PC and more portability from the smaller and lighter laptop. And yeah, this is basically the reason why I now regret buying the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I think that when I was making the decision, I was just too quick to dismiss PCs. At that time, I was really committed to Apple and also really committed to portability. So that's why I just never really even considered getting a PC and I really only thought about getting Macs. So yeah, that's, that's how I ended up with a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Okay, so obviously things happened in my life that caused me to change my mind. Now I will tell you guys what were the factors that really led me to changing my mind about my MacBook Pro. Okay, so the very first reason is that now I am actively trying to switch from editing in Final Cut Pro to editing in a software called DaVinci Resolve. Final Cut Pro is an editing software that's made by Apple and is only available on Mac OS. Whereas DaVinci Resolve is made by Blackmagic, it is completely free and it is just as good if not better than Final Cut Pro and also it can be used on Windows, on Linux, and on Mac OS. So with DaVinci Resolve there is so much more flexibility in what kind of device I can get. I just don't want to be bound to Apple products forever. Now and also in the future I want to be able to buy what I think is the best device and if I stick to editing in Final Cut Pro then 
I can really only consider Apple products from here on out and I don't want that so that's why I am switching and the second factor is I kind of want to get into streaming I actually set up a whole twitch account and tried streaming from my MacBook Pro several times but every single time I tried streaming it was just such a pain to do so the fans in my MacBook Pro were always so so loud during streaming and that caused a lot of very unenjoyable fan noise and also the stream usually can't last that long either if I'm just talking on stream and doing nothing else then and if I'm lucky, my stream can last like maybe up to two hours without lagging. And then afterwards, it just starts to lag like crazy and my stream goes into like two frames per second. And it's even worse when I try to play a game, my stream can maybe last 30 minutes before it just starts to lag way too hard. So yeah, all in all, the MacBook Pro just really isn't great for streaming. But on the other hand, if I were to spend 1K5 on a PC, then I am confident that that PC will be able to handle streaming with absolutely no problems at all. Okay, and the third factor is I kind of want to get into gaming a little bit. I don't really see myself becoming a huge gamer, but sometimes Sometimes there are new games that are released and uh, I kind of want to, you know, try playing them. But unfortunately, compared to Windows, macOS just supports very few games and specifically games that I'm interested in like Valorant, um, Among Us, Fall Guys, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, none of them are available on macOS or at least like not directly. You can, there are workarounds. But yeah, and all of them are available on Windows. Right now, if I want to play those games, then I actually have to boot camp into Windows to play them. So yeah, definitely Mac devices aren't great for gaming either. But on my future PC, it will most likely run Windows. So in that case, I will directly have access to so many more games. Okay, and the last reason is that now I no longer place high importance on portability. Before this whole pandemic thing, um, I could like never just sit at home at work. I just always felt super unproductive at home so I always had to go to libraries and coffee shops to get my work done but um, obviously since the pandemic happened that has changed and at first it wasn't very enjoyable for me to stay at home all day but now I kind of enjoy it like I enjoy being able to wear whatever I want at home having access to snacks at any time and of course being able to sit in front of my big monitor which is also really really nice I definitely enjoy working from home home a lot more than I did before and I think that I will be working at home quite often in the future too. So that's why portability isn't super important to me anymore. When I'm working at home I will probably just use my PC and then when I need to like go outside to do things then I will have my small light laptop to carry around with me. And of course even when I'm at home and I just want to sit in my bed and work or sit on the couch and work then I will also be able to do that on the small light laptop too. So yeah those are the main reasons that led me to changing my mind about the 16 inch MacBook Pro. I just think that a combination of a PC and a small laptop is better suited for my workflow for the heavier things that I want to do. So like programming, video editing, gaming, streaming, a PC will be able to handle all of those with no problems at all. And then when I'm out and about and I want to get some work done, then I can bring my small laptop, which will be super easy to carry and get work done on that. And of course the PC and the small laptop together will likely cost around the same price that this one single 16 inch macbook pro cost okay so that is going to be it for this video i hope you enjoy listening to this explanation if you have any thoughts feel free to leave them in a comment down below i read pretty much all of my comments so if you want to let me know anything then just comment it down below and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and also if you want to continue supporting me and my tech content then be sure to subscribe to my channel down below as well um, i also also have some links down in my description. I have a link to a Chrome extension that I made also to my Twitch and my Instagram. So if you want to check those out, then feel free to do so. And yeah, um, I will be back soon with more tech related videos. So I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye.